friends, welcome to my channel. And today I'm doing a layout for paper issues. So if you want to order from the shop, use Rachel 20 to get 20% off. This is the layout that I am scrap lifting for scrap lift Sunday, except today's Monday. It came out yesterday, so whatever. I think that's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, that is, a, I, th I think it's a really cool layout. I like how it's um, like the vertical kind of look to it. I don't know. It was kind of challenging for me, but like a really good challenge. I felt, yeah, like I said, challenged in a good way. So I got out all of my favorite Maggie Holmes scraps, just lots of little itty bitty pieces that kind of all went well together and cut them into strips that I could use for this layout to go down the page, down the middle of the page, kind of like that layout was. Um, yeah, so I'm, it's from all sorts of collections. We've got Carousel, we've got Chasing Dreams, we've got uh, Flourish. we got all of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them here. As you know, I love Maggie Holmes collections. I think they're just so pretty and so cute, and I love the colors. So I picked a lot of like uh, pink pastels and, and uh, yeah, just some of my favorite papers. So I'm going to layer these up and um, layer them in a way where there's not like too much pink together or too much black and white together. Um, and I think I'm going to rip the edges as well. Let's see. I think I do, but I can't remember. Now, I don't have a sewing machine, but if I did, I would totally sew through these and kind of like flip up the edges. I think that would look really cool doesn't look like I ripped the edges. So maybe I just leave it at that. Some of them were ripped already. So maybe I just leave the ones that were ripped like that. Oh, there's a little sequin star. I wonder if it gets caught in the layout or if I figure it out. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and had a good weekend. I hope you're enjoying my 30 day spring blitz of videos. Um, I hope there's been a good variety and you've enjoyed it and it's been interesting. I've been trying to make, um, you know, good quality videos rather than just putting out a bunch of junky videos just to get the videos out there. I've been trying to make sure they were good videos that were entertaining. So I hope you're, you've been enjoying them. Um, that ruler there is, well, it's not an actual ruler, but the paper that looks like a ruler is from... The Shine collection, which is pretty old, but I'm glad I could combine lots of collections. This picture is obviously, you can see, of my kitty cat, Harvey, and she just looked really cute. So that's all. <laughs> There's no story to it. She just looked really cute. So I think in the photo, in the uh, layout where scrap lifting, there is some crepe paper in it. So that's what I add to mine as well. If not, maybe I just felt like adding it. I think there was. I can't remember exactly. But uh, that's the inspiration I felt when I was making it. So um, I grabbed some white crepe paper and I'm going to put that on soon. Um, I'm going to put some at the bottom and some at the top. So I just put it down and fold it up like that. Perfect. And I'm not going to go all the way to the end, just part way and then snip that off as straight as I can, which isn't very straight. But it adds some nice texture and just a different type of layer. I'm going to put some at the bottom too because I'm going to have two um, like places where your eye will be drawn to. So, or like two, I don't know, points of interest, I guess. One at the top and one at the bottom. The top where the picture is, obviously where hopefully your eye will be drawn to first. But I got to use that beautiful piece that says love you on it. That's from the Flourish collection. It's such like a big statement piece and it's so gorgeous. I'm also using a lot of florals from the Maggie Holmes open book collection, which I love. I am obsessed with the florals and I hope I never run out, which I know I will one day, but <laughs> I hope I never do. So I'm just going to surround the photo with these gorgeous florals and oopsies, and I'm going to start sticking everything down. 
I am liking the way it's looking so far. So I might as well just start putting pieces together before they lose their spots because that sometimes happens. And there's even like a vellum floral piece, which is really cute as well. Another texture to the mix. I like to put some florals underneath the picture and some on top. And I'm gonna put some foam behind the photo so that it gives some dimension as well. Just a little bit there, that's all you need. All right, next up, I'm going to look for something for a title. And I pick out the word darling, I see, I think. Where am I gonna put it? At the top. Perfect, and I might as well just adhere everything down. And I think that really like brings in the uh, crepe paper. It kind of brings it all together and makes it look a part of the layout, if that makes sense. And I put that XO at the bottom so that um, there's more than one foam piece on the layout. I felt like that connected it all. And I'm really loving the way this is turning out. I love the colors. I love that I got to use some of my favorite pattern paper. Uh, I love the, po the photo. I love the chipboard piece and the florals. Some of my favorite things, literally from almost every Maggie Holmes collection. Look, okay, the top that bow paper is from Bloom, the rulers from Shine, the we've got a couple chasing dreams. We I think that scalped one is carousel. That floral black and white one is flourish. So literally almost every collection is in this. Isn't that kind of funny? I didn't even realize that till now. But I've said this in many, uh, many videos before. I put um all my Maggie Holmes stuff together. So yeah, I don't really like think to use like one specific collection. I just kind of use it all together. And you can see how well those, all of her collections work together. Like you wouldn't know they were made separately. Obviously it's the same designer, so they have the same look and the same style, but still it's pretty cool. So that is the finished layout. Thank you so much for, for watching and don't forget to join us on the uh, Paper Issues Facebook page in the challenges. I'll link it all down below and I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.